Hey y'all, it's Carlene. Thank you for tuning back into La Mom Life. Today, I have a perfume haul for you. I think most of these were blind buys, and then I also wanted to share a perfume that I wore in college. I wore it all the time, and somehow over the years, we lost touch, and I have since reconnected with this perfume, and I could not be happier. So if you enjoy a good perfume haul, then you definitely want to stay tuned. Welcome back to all of my beautiful subscribers. I am so happy to be here with you today to talk perfume. So thank you for tuning back in. And to all of you who have just stumbled across my video, on this channel, I do lifestyle videos, luxury videos to include perfumes. I do reviews and I also sprinkle in a little bit of my homeschool journey as a mom of three. So if those are things that you think you will enjoy, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and also make sure you turn on those notifications so you know exactly when my videos drop. All right, let's get into it. So today I have six perfumes I wanna share. To be honest, I have but I'm gonna save that for another video. I picked out six of them to talk about today. I have two celebrity, two designer, and two niche. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start with my celebrity fragrances today. This is my latest find, y'all. This is Kim Kardashian Gold, and this is an oldie but goodie. I have my ring light on, sorry about the glare, y'all. But, and this is what the bottle looks like. This is the 3.4 fluid ounce, and I found this at Marshall's the other day for $16.99. And there's something about finding perfumes at a cheap price that actually end up being amazing. That is so exciting. I remember feeling this way when I used to thrift all the time. I don't really go thrifting that much anymore, but this is kind of like that feeling you get when you find something at a steal and it turns out to be amazing. That's how I feel about this scent. So this scent right here, mm, this scent is so good y'all. So the opening has a bergamot, which is one of my favorite, favorite notes. It also has a pink pepper, I think. Either a berry or a pink pepper at the top of this. And I feel like that just makes the opening so bright and juicy. But then the opening dies down pretty quickly and you start to get the florals in here. I think this has jasmine in here and I think it has another floral. I think it's orchid or something like that. So you do get the florals. But then after the florals come through, I feel like the dry down of this is what makes this fragrance so special and gives it like this expensive type of smell. It smells so much more expensive than it actually is and I think that has to do with the dry down. So let me look and see what the notes are. Okay, so at the top of this fragrance you have grapefruit, bergamot, and pink pepper. Then you have jasmine, violet, and rose. Oh, it has rose in it, okay. I get the jasmine more so, but the base is where this shines. It has amber, benzoin, patchouli, musk, and sandalwood. I get the amber, the benzoin, the musk, I get a little bit of the sandalwood and this does not have a strong patchouli at all. So I have been enjoying this little cheapy. It is so good. And it also makes me curious about the first one, the one that has the white florals, because I love white florals. So that's the first one, Kim Kardashian's gold. Okay, so next we have one of my most favorite blind buys so far, and it is Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. I got a shoe, y'all. I got a shoe. <laughs> this is so good. I know it gets a lot of flack, but it also gets a lot of love. So maybe this one is polarizing. I don't know. All I know is that a lot of people also love this, and I am in that group of people. Although Fragrantica lists a ton of notes, to my understanding, Fragrantica is an estimation of the notes. So although Fragrantica lists a bunch of notes, don't let that scare you. I know a lot of people say a lot of stuff has been thrown into this, but for me, the notes that shine in this fragrance and that shine on my skin are the almond in here, the coffee note, the tuberose is very pronounced, very prominent, and I love tuberose. So if you're a tuberose lover, you may enjoy this fragrance. And then also the base notes. That tonka, I smell that tonka right away. The vanilla in here, this also has musk and a cashmere wood, and I feel like those are the notes that really shine the most for me. I quite enjoy this fragrance and I'm so happy to have bought it because like I said I love tuberose and I love almonds so if you like those notes you may like this. Yeah like that's the almond in here is so prominent. I love that this fragrance is sweet and sensual. It's like a mature sweet but not too mature. 
there's a mysteriousness to this so in a way it's a sexy fragrance it's kind of a little bit cozy as well and comforting my husband has given me compliments on this particular fragrance he enjoys this one on me if that helps you at all i do think that most men will enjoy this fragrance from what i've seen so far and from my own experience as well so this was a blind buy success and i am super excited to have this shoe in my collection i will say that i was not into the shoe at first i did think it was tacky but somehow it's grown on me y'all somehow it's grown on me <laughs> all right y'all so we've done celebrity we've done designer and now let's do niche so this is my latest blind buy and i love this fragrance so much i did go ahead and purchase the larger size just yesterday because this is amazing so this is kayali's deja vu white flower 57 yeah 57 <sighs> This is a white floral lover's dream. I mentioned to you earlier that I love tuberose. I love white florals. And this right here is so gorgeous. This scent is so feminine. It's so sophisticated. It's so rich. It's just a beautiful, beautiful scent. The tuberose in here is this gorgeous tuberose. There's a tuberose infusion in here that is absolutely sophisticated and just beautiful. It's not like a bright floral, it's more of a warm white floral, yet I feel like this can still be worn year round. And also this can be layered with any of your other fragrances where you want a white floral component to come through. So Deja Vu White Flower has fruits at the top. So I believe there is nectarine at the top of this. There's a pear. I get the pear. I love pear chords. And then you get those white flowers. Gardenia. There's a beautiful tuberose infusion in here. You get an orange blossom. You get jasmine. To my nose, I detect the tuberose very prominently. And then also that beautiful jasmine is a standout white floral in here. At the base, you get cashmere wood, vanilla, you get patchouli, and you get sandalwood but the patchouli in here is blended so beautifully that I don't quite detect it. To me the patchouli is just beautifully blended a supportive note but not one that will bother you with this fragrance. Oh my goodness that is so the blend is such a beautiful blend. This perfume has this richness to it it smells so expensive and the florals in here are so beautifully blended that there's nothing sharp in here. They're just warm, they're rich, they're soft, they're comforting. This is a bit cozy, it's super feminine. I love this. My husband complimented me on this last night. I sprayed it on before bed and a little later in the night when I got in bed, he was like, you smell so good. I said, thanks babe, but secretly I was like, yes. He likes this one because I love this. I love this so, so much. And there's nothing like when you love a fragrance, but then the people around you love it as well. So I would highly recommend it if you are a white floral lover. Um, I love the price point. I love the quality. I love the bottle. It's so chic and this bottle just looks so beautiful on my perfume tray with my other perfumes. I'm a fan of the floral amber fragrances. And this one right here is like top on my list, y'all. You have to get this if you are a white floral lover, if you love paracords, if you love tuberose, or if you love floral ambers. I would highly recommend Deja Vu White Flower 57 from Keali. So the next fragrance is a fragrance I have shared a review of recently, and it is a newer purchase. It was a blind buy, and it is a niche fragrance, and it is one that is perfect for spring and summer. I did a whole video on it that I will link here if you haven't watched it yet. And this is Goldfield & Banks Sunset hour so i'm not going to go into too too much detail on this fragrance because i did a whole video on it so please go and watch that video but i will tell you what i love about this fragrance so this fragrance has a gorgeous pink pepper opening it's so sweet it has a berry and a pink pepper i think black currant or red currant is in here the opening of this reminds me so much of donna born in roma by valentino the openings are very very similar Donna Born in Roma changes on the dry down, but this stays pretty much the same. So think Donna Born in Roma with an added coconut cream, an added mango, a tropical essence to it. And then think about those notes carrying through for the entire life of this fragrance while it's on your body. It has moderate sillage. I think it projects very high, moderate to high. And I think it performs a little bit better than a typical eau de parfum because I wore it out on a really hot day and my husband could still smell it on me. Also, speaking of my husband, he likes this one as well. It's a very crowd-pleasing fragrance. There's nothing revolutionary about this, but it is a gorgeous, beautifully executed fragrance that you will enjoy this spring and summer. This was... 
this was a blind buy that I I'm just so happy because this was a blind buy success y'all so I've sprayed so much perfume already I'm gonna spray a little bit on my hand yeah this is Donna Born Aroma in the opening but as it dries down you start to get that mango and that coconut cream it's like a green mango a coconut cream Oh my goodness, this is so good, y'all. I feel like that's what makes this shine is those tropical elements. So go ahead and check out my video that I did on this. You will enjoy the video. This is Gold Fill and Banks Sunset Hour. So next, let's talk designer. I also did a video on this fragrance. I did a whole unboxing and this is a gorgeous scent, y'all. I only purchased a one ounce and I've already made a significant dent. I'm seriously considering getting a bigger size. And this is the fragrance that I am talking about right here. This is Coral Fantasy by Valentine. Valentino, and this is a beautiful kiwi musk it's a beautiful bright fruity musk in my opinion i'm not going to go too much into this fragrance because i did a whole video on it i did a wear test and everything so go ahead and check that video out but this is gorgeous y'all some people have mentioned that it doesn't last on the skin very long some people have also mentioned that this is too uh, too basic, I guess, too boring, um, very crowd-pleasing. I don't necessarily think this house was trying to come up with something groundbreaking as much as it was trying to come up with a beautiful spring and summer fragrance for Born in Roma lovers. And this is really, really beautiful. It's a beautiful fragrance. The best part to me of this fragrance is the musk that's in here. On me, it lingers on my skin and it makes me smell like naturally sweet. This fragrance transforms from a bright kiwi opening to a soft and musky scent that lingers. And when people get close to you, it's almost like you just smell sweet. So I love this. I feel like the heat makes this shine and stand out even more because I've worn it on really hot days. And I feel like this projects so beautifully when it's really, really hot. So this was a blind buy success, y'all. I will link the video where I went into detail on this fragrance for you so you can go and watch that as well. All right, y'all. And last but not least is the celebrity fragrance that I wore in college that I found that I got my hands on recently and I am in love. We have reconnected. We have rekindled. I'm in complete love with this fragrance. And it is Beyonce Heat. This fragrance, y'all. This brought back so many beautiful memories. When I first sprayed it, it was so familiar. It smelled so good and I remember the fragrance right away. But I feel like because I'm now building my collection and I'm exploring and playing around with fragrances, I feel like I can appreciate the notes in this so much better today than when I first purchased it in college. All I know in college is that I love this. And now that I'm into fragrances and I know the notes that I like now, I realize, oh my gosh, I've always liked these notes. So this has an almond in it. This has white florals. This is a floral amber. It has tonka bean. And those are all notes that I quite enjoy. So let me go on Fragrantica and look up the notes for y'all. At the top, this fragrance has peach, orchid, magnolia, neroli. And the white florals, the peach, the orchid, those are all notes that I enjoy. This has almond, macarons, musk, and honeysuckle at the mid. And again, I love almonds. I love a good musk. I quite enjoy honeysuckle. And then at the base, this has amber, tonka, and sequoia. So y'all, this smells so amazing. It is such a gorgeous feminine scent. It's creamy, it's fruity, it's musky, and it lingers for at least six hours on the skin, on your clothes much longer. This smells more expensive than it actually is. And to me, this does not smell like your typical celebrity scent. So just like the Kim Kardashian I showed you earlier, this one also smells more expensive than it is. And I think those are the celebrity fragrances that I enjoy. The ones that you can't quite clock as a celebrity, if y'all know what I mean. <laughs> so this is just beautiful, y'all. I think this is going to be my scent of the day, so let's go ahead and spray this on. This is just the peach and the magnolia. You definitely get those right away. It dries down to this beautiful musk that is warm and 
ambery and resinous and this is just a gorgeous scent y'all so it's a true floral amber it gets really rich and warm on the dry down but at the top of it and in the mid it's beautiful it's fruity with a beautiful musk and there's this creaminess to this fragrance that I can't quite put my finger on I don't know why it comes off as a bit creamy but it does on my skin so this is beautiful y'all I love the way this lingers just like I love the way that um, Coral Fantasy by Valentino lingers it lingers in a way almost like you just smell naturally sweet so this is beautiful I'm definitely going to be enjoying this fragrance this spring and summer and this is a year-round fragrance really so this is a fragrance I would highly recommend it's very affordable I purchased mine from Walmart they're kind of like a third party so you're purchasing from a discounted site but with Walmart guarantee so if you don't like something if it doesn't work out you can even schedule a pickup so I love shopping for discounted fragrances on Walmart so this is Beyonce's heat and I would highly recommend this I'm so excited about this I missed you and I'm so happy we reconnected. So thank you beauties for sticking through to the end of this video. If it made you smile, if it tickled you, if it was helpful to you at all, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that really helps my channel. And also if you enjoyed the content, go ahead and subscribe because we would love to have you here. Um, also don't forget to hit that notification bell. And before I go, I just wanted to remind you to be in the now. The other day I was out with my kids and my daughter stopped to smell a flower. And I was in a rush because I was trying to get from point A to point B. And that moment really made me stop and look at the flower. And I thought, wow, to be like a child, to have a childlike approach to the way that we live every day would be so beautiful because we would notice those little things that just are so beautiful all around us. I just wanted to remind you to be like my daughter Giselle Fleur. And by the way, her middle name is Fleur and she loves flowers. Go figure. But be like her and stop and smell the flowers today. Be in the now and I'll be doing the same, and I will see you in another video very soon. Mm -hmm.